performance diagnostics, we believe that troubleshooting air conditioning systems is a process. This basic air conditioning matrix was designed to introduce, teach, and reinforce that process. The matrix provides a peek into the thinking process successful technicians utilize when diagnosing basic air conditioning systems. Designed for both classroom training and field reference, the matrix is accessible on any web-enabled smartphone, tablet, or other device. Technicians navigate the matrix by answering either yes or no to the very same kind of internal questions successful technicians quietly ask themselves while troubleshooting. Any yes answer moves the technician down the matrix to the next question on the currently displayed list. If a technician is unsure or answers no to any question, clicking on the question takes a technician to the next diagnostic step or to a final solution. In most cases, the distance between a beginning question and a final solution is no further than three steps or clicks within the matrix. A number of practical tips, technical information, and in some cases wiring diagrams or charts are included with many problem solutions. These aids are included to further assist technicians as they transition from the mental process of troubleshooting to the physical procedures of troubleshooting. If it were possible to hear everything that goes on inside a technician's brain during diagnostics, we would quickly discover that successful technicians carry with them a mental roadmap of the basic diagnostic process, and they are constantly looking and listening for clues that will lead them to system problems as quickly and directly as possible. Once the technician sets the thermostat to cool, auto, and well below room temperature, successful technicians begin by asking themselves six very basic questions. Three questions about system operation and three questions about system performance. When it comes to system operation, the technician wants to know, does the evaporator fan run? Does the condenser fan run? And does the compressor run? When it comes to system performance, the technician wants to know, is the evaporator airflow okay? Is the condenser airflow okay? And is the refrigerant flow okay? Any negative answers prompts another set of questions in the technician's mind. These questions are also mentally prioritized and sequenced in the proper order for the most efficient and effective troubleshooting. Answering any of these secondary questions will involve a subtle shift from the process of troubleshooting to the knowledge necessary to use troubleshooting procedures. For example, in order to determine if the compressor ohms good, the technician must already know at least one ohm test procedure. In this case, the matrix does provide one common ohm testing procedure often used to evaluate compressor windings. Every endpoint inside the matrix points the technician to a final conclusion. Dividing and subdividing the diagnostic process into the properly ordered steps and sequence avoids duplication of efforts and keeps the technician always moving forward. One of the benefits of using a process when troubleshooting a system is the ability to avoid repetition. The matrix does allow for some lower level flexibility, however, since air conditioning systems are systems and not just a random collection of parts, each step in the diagnostic process is built on information obtained in previous steps. We refer to evaluating the individual parts that make up an air conditioning system as a troubleshooting procedure. In this matrix, it is process that always leads to procedure. Here are some quick examples. Process can define the quickest and most efficient path to when a technician should suspect a problem with the capacitor. Once there, however, the technician must know the procedure for testing a capacitor. The matrix provides technicians with three different procedures for testing run capacitors. A static test, an operating load test, and a calculated load test. In another example, process can define the quickest and most efficient path to when a technician should suspect a problem with refrigerant flow. 
Once there, however, the technician must know the procedures for evaluating and correcting refrigerant flow and refrigerant charge problems. The matrix provides technicians with a refrigerant problem diagnostic chart, a refrigerant cycle diagram, and generic charging charts as aids in this transition between process and procedure. Diagnostic process and procedure must go hand in hand. Procedure is generally easier to teach and learn since it often involves both visual and tactile elements. Process, however, is seldom seen, heard, or felt. We have encountered technicians that never fully recognized the existence of their personal internal diagnostic roadmap until they saw it reflected back to them in matrix form. In a companion video, we will look at how basic AC troubleshooting matrix can also help leverage the benefits of one commonly used training practice, the ride-along.